विकसित भारत एट ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन इज अबाउट एम्पावरिंग द एजुकेशनल इमेजिनेशन ऑफ इंडिया इफ बाई ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन वी नीड टू बिकम ए डेवलप्ड सोसाइटी ए डेवलप कंट्री वी नीड टू पे स्ट्रॉगर अटेंशन टू आर यूनिवर्सिटीज टू इंपॉर्टेंट पब्लिक पॉलिसी इनिशियटिव इन द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स हैज प्रिसाइसली डन दैट वन द नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दैट वॉज essentially announced on 29th july 2020 articulated the vision of the future of indian higher education second was the institution of eminence policy that the honorable prime minister of india articulated with a view to empowering and essentially recognizing that outstanding institutions in india ought to be selected and duly empowered with both resources and autonomy for the future after a very elaborate process eight public universities and four private universities were selected and they were declared as institutions of eminence i strongly believe that these two policy initiatives the nep as well as the ioe policy both of which have a very significant impact on the future of higher education at the dawn of indian independence we had only 20 universities today we have over a thousand plus universities the higher education sector has radically expanded however we have not given enough of importance to quality and the promotion of excellence i strongly believe the next two decades and more up till 2047 our focus ought to be able to infuse greater degree of quality as well as promotion of excellence so that we can have world class universities in india that can not only propel the rankings as well as the benchmarkings associated with indian universities but that they can also inspire many more new institutions as we look at the future the gross enrollment ratio in india is hovering around 26 to 28% if we have to increase it to 40 to 45% in the next two decades we need to build more institutions but at the same time we need to focus on quality and excellence as we expand the higher education sector